Hi everyone, and today we're going to be doing an experiment on nappies, everyone's favorite subject, and how they work and how what they do can be applied to other areas and other technologies. My name is Phil and welcome to my space. And the good thing about today is that you might be able to do all of this stuff that we're gonna do today in your own space and, and try some of this stuff out and experiment with some nappies. If you have some lying around, where maybe a brother or a sister has just finished using them. We don't want to waste other ones. It's just that they're kind of around and we're going to explore how they work, why they work and where else they work. And we're going to use a particular branch of science called chemistry. And chemistry is to do with chemicals and how they interact with each other and how different things mix or if you form mixtures or compounds. But there are chemicals inside nappies and one of the chemicals inside this does a really important job. Um, and let's look at the job that that does. So we have some water uh, and I'm going to add in some blue food coloring. Now you can put whatever food coloring you want to be your liquid. So we have our blue liquid. I'm gonna add this into the nappy and you can see that when it's added in, even though that's probably more than a baby would pee when you move it around and everything else and it touches the other parts of it. It soaks it up and eventually what you're left with is a blue nappy where all the liquid, it's soaked up inside. So there are chemicals inside nappies that soak up this stuff. It's not just a sponge. And what you can do with the nappies is you can get a nappy and you can tear apart a nappy and inside here there is like, looks like cotton kind of material, but there's all these tiny little particles. And all of those tiny little particles are something called sodium polyacrylate. And this sodium polyacrylate is really good at soaking up liquid. So that's exactly what's happening in here. But it's kind of hard to visualize when you're looking at a nappy like this. So what I've done is I've taken some old nappies and I've taken some of the crystals, the sodium polyacrylate out of it and I've put it into this glass and I'm gonna take some of the water and I'm gonna add it to the crystal and see what happens. So as we add in the water to it there, you'll see that this at the bottom starts to soak up and you'll see all these kind of like tiny dots getting bigger. They're kind of sucking up all of the water. They're growing, they're growing, they're growing, they're growing. So if I stir this around, all the water now is touching even more and more of the sodium polyacrylate and it's getting harder to stir. And what it's doing is it's turning into a gel. So now you've got this kind of really hard gel that like won't move. It's stuck in the glass now. So the same way in a nappy, this is what you get. Now, so the name of this stuff is sodium polyacrylate and sodium, which is chemical symbol N, A, is on the periodic table of elements. It's in salts like sodium chloride that you put on your chips, other things like that. But the other bit, the polyacrylate, describes how the rest of the chemical is. Poly, like a parish, repeats. A polymer is something that repeats again and again and again. Sodium polyacrylate is a chemical that is really long, that repeats again and again, and it's good at stretching and keeping water inside it, which is why it's very good at soaking up liquid. And if you turn it upside down, None of it falls out. Like if you had a glass of water and you turned it upside down, all of it would fall out. Now, interesting point. If you're an adult, you cannot wear kids' diapers. And the reason is, not just because they're hard to get on, but even might even get one on one leg. But the reason isn't just about the size, it's the amount of salt that's in our urine as adults. So if you take salt, normal table salt, and you add it, and then we mix it around a little bit, just like would be in your urine or your diet that you eat. And as you add the salt back into this, you'll find that this starts turning back into liquid again. So it's starting to flow again. So it breaks down the chemical reaction that's happened inside with the salt. Now when I turn it upside down. Ah, splash. And if we added more salt, it would get even more liquidy. Glad I had that nappy here. But you might see, well, how could I use something like this somewhere else so people can use what you find and maybe use it in their area? So what someone did with this sodium polyacrylate was used a very similar version of it in this stuff, which is Insta Snow. It's based on the same chemical that we use, the sodium polyacrylate. If we add a little bit of this into the glass, you'll see 
It looks fairly similar to what we had before that we took out of the nappies. But if I add in the liquid into this like water, let's see what happens. <laughs> <laughs> they made our own snow, look at this! <laughs> Using science to make our lives better. In some ways, it could be solving big problems about the world. Sometimes it could be by bringing a little joy into people's life. But it's taking one thing from one aspect of science and chemistry and applying it somewhere else. We analyze, we record, we measure, and then we communicate our ideas. We talk about what we found. So it's really important when you're doing all your experiments at home that you write down what you do, you have a procedure, and then you tell somebody about what you've done and what you've learned so that they might go, that's a brilliant idea. Maybe you could help me to do this. Send us in your ideas, your experiments have been, and what other crazy ideas. And like, maybe you'll come up with the solution that instead of using disposable nappies like this. And also consider that these nappies, if you've used them before, the ones that you wore, the one that your parents wore, are probably still around because they're just sitting in a landfill. Your diapers are still here somewhere. What do you think about what could we use instead? Would you use reusable nappies? What, what's the best way that we could do that? Send us in your ideas. Look at rte.ie forward slash learn and send us your stuff. We'd love to learn from you. See you later.